back to Chua Tech. Today we are going to learn how to create a Google form. So before we go into learning how to create a Google form, please, if you have not subscribed, please, you can do that. Let me give you some time so that you can subscribe before we dive in into our lesson. So thank you for subscribing. I appreciate today without wasting much of our time let's dive in and create a google form today i'm going to create a google form and this form is going to be a loan form from this tutorial that i'm about to give you today you can use it to create other forms so to do so we are going to go straight to forms.google.com then click enter Then you have to log in first. Then I have to click and I need to log in and I now as you can see I've included my password which is then I'll click next. So a wrong password. Let me go back and enter my password. So I enter the wrong password, that's why the computer asked me to re-enter my password. So, so I've already entered my password. As you can see here, start a new form. You see a blank form, contact information, RSVP, party invite, and so on and so forth. I've already created some forms before but today we are going to create a form from scratch a blank form so you click here so now we are now ready to create our cargo form so come here this title here click here and then go back to the question sorry click here then you can put the title of your company. Let me say the title of my company is okay. Let me say my company is Micro Finance King. Then your form description here, you can say you can put something like go straight and put MFX loan form, loan application form. Then all you need to do here first, you need to get the name of the person first because it's a loan form. So for us to do so, you have to come here and click here, click here and put the word here, name. Then come here, because it's a name, it should be a short answer. So we'll leave it as a short answer. Then we'll go straight and click here. Wow, as you can see, we've just added a name. So let's just go back here and make here full name full name then let's come back here and start with like home address then the home address should be a short answer text to then click again then Let's include office address. The office address should be a paragraph, which is a long answer text. 
then let's check for let's include occupation occupation should be a short answer text as you can see here a short answer text after we've gotten the occupation of the person then i think we need this photo because it's a long form we need this photo so let's go ahead and include foot photo so because it's a photo we are going to choose file upload click continue so now you're going to see something like you say allow only specific file types then click it as you can see document spreadsheet pdf video presentation drawing image so we need only image to be uploaded here so maximum number of files you want to upload can be one two three but we just need a photo of our client and the maximum file size is 10 mb so we'll come here and click here so we're done with the file upload now let's see we are done with this section let's create another section for guarantor now so you come here and add section so as you can see here before this section we have to remove this one here so let's go ahead and see how we can remove this come here you delete it so we go down back to our section 2 so this section 2 should be for our guarantor we can come here and use the same title as micro finance scheme we can use the same title Then description description guarantors details guarantors 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 details be the description go ahead and include so what we need to do here we need the full name of the guarantor so it should be a short answer text come here and click add question after the full name of the guarantor we need the home address home address of the guarantor then after the home address of the guarantor let's take his word occupation after his occupation then let's take his photo come here and click here to add question then type photo photo then we are going to place like we are going to allow two photos for the guarantor you come here and click file upload then then what we are going to do here you come here you click here you come here click image come here make here to be two is not there's no two here just take five so we just need the guarantor's photo so let's first of all let's just make it one guarantor we just need one guarantor and one photo that's all so we've taken the full name the home address the occupation and the photo of the guarantor so we are done with this section so let's go to the next section 
so now we'll move straight to the next section now and let's just still include the name of the company microfinance scheme and here this section should be like bank bank details bank details of applicant bank details of applicant click here to add a question so now we need to know the name of the bank account just let's take is account account name then we come here and click here account name bank name bank account name let's take account name account number after the account number let's take the bank the bank so the bank should be like an option a multiple option so let's first of all take this one to be you be here then come here we add let's close this one then we take here let me pick like access access bank come here let's pick gtb gtb come here let's pick like keystone keystone bank let's pick polar rich bank then let's just let's add one or two banks like echo echo bank then first bank then first bank so let's just add orders then we are done with the bank details of applicant we've collected the account name the account number and the bank then under the bank details here we are okay with the bank details now so let's go back to let's just continue then under here let's add the amount that the applicant wants from the company like the loan amount now you can type amount amount needed amount needed then let's end it here so we've gotten the full details of the applicant and we've gotten the guarantors details to the guarantors details to and we've gotten the bank details of the applicant so let me say this is all we need to get from the applicant so let's view what we've created you can come here and what preview well, as you can see here, microfinance scheme. 
here's the form we just created the google form we just created so we can move to the next section by click, clicking next as you can see microfinance can grant us the tips scroll down you can click back or next then as you can see these are the bank details and the amount wanted so let's close let's go back because we need to add some terms and conditions so we are going to close our loan form with a fresh section And this section four should be our terms and condition. So you go back and include the name of your company. Then this section should be for terms and condition, conditions and terms, conditions and terms. Then add a fresh question. Then here yeah, we should be able we should be able to include our condition and terms here. So now you see then you include your terms and condition here. You can just type anything as you test your your condition and terms say I agree I agree to pay back the the I agree to pay back I agree to pay back the loan the loan the loan for just include your terms and conditions here you can just put dash 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 you can include your terms and conditions here then after you've done that then we are going to include an option that says accept because after you've included your terms and condition the person need to accept or decline then decline then you can leave it as orders too then we are done with this section so let's go back to this place and let's activate here as you can see I agreed to pay back the loan for blah 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 when you check here agree that is to accept then decline their orders so that is how you can create a google form and you can use it to you can use it for your business so there's some things i need to show you so let's go back to our preview again so we'll go that back and click next as you can see click next then click next then here's the submit button as you can see here automatically there's a submit button after the applicant must have finished filling the forms then the applicant will click here to submit and for you to send this form to people as you can see here at the top of our page here you see send this is how you can send it to people to the form to people so let's go back to this please response let me say you send the form to somebody you can send it through a gmail to the person here then when the person finish filling the form and 
submit the form you see it around here that's the response so as well if i come here and click here not accepting response so you have to activate here to accepting responses so after you've gotten your responses let me say you want to make it look very good get gmail notifications select response download responses you can see you can still download the responses then though or you want to create a spreadsheet you can create a spreadsheet through here so let me just go ahead and say let me see if i can just like say let me go to settings first and see Go to settings and see let's just leave the settings go back to our form this is the form we've created then come here come here and click here all changes saved in drive so let's go ahead and include the name of our form and here is the name of our form then we've already, we've already included the name of our form here then when you see a move to folder now you cannot move this form to a folder uh, let's see if we can move it to a folder see my drive open folder in a new tab it can be in a new tab you can move it to your folder here it can be microsoft Word, blah 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 this that this then let's come here and new folder new folder create a new folder in my drive you can create a new folder in your drive you can name the folder of your drive as anything can name it as anything then after you've created your new folder then you move it to your new folder let me just do something like draw draw check then you've created a folder draw check then move here microsoft has been uh, my micro finance scheme has been moved from my drive to draw check as you can see so to send this form now you can come here and click send then send form now collect emails to send via you can send via emails through link to so you include the email of the person here then the subject micro finance loom form then message then you can send you click here include form in email you click here then you can send this is how you can send your google form to to them so we are done with creating a google form as you can see it's very easy to create so so easy to create we've come to the end of our today's lesson if you enjoy to this lesson please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share my video thank you for watching once more again we'll meet in the next video so before i close this video let's go back to forms.google.com forms.google.com as you can see here here is the recent form we just created so you can come here and access it directly wow as you can see here's the form we've just created so i'll say goodbye see you in the next video